In today's video, I want to uh, break down a simple concept to beat a lot of defenses this year out of the gun empty cheap for chief formation. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I want to welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, be sure to jump in our Discord. If you really want to get better at Madden, that's the first step you want to take. You want to get into that Discord. That Discord is going to help you not only stay up to date with everything that we do on YouTube, but it's also going to help you uh, stay up to date with everything that we have going on in the channel and I'll be able to ask questions, learn from other people in the channel. So it's just a great community over there at Discord. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about Gun Empty Chief. And I wanted to talk specifically, this is in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. You don't have to, you don't have to use that specific playbook. But one of the things that I really like, uh, if you go to your packages, you see here, I can do a lot of different things with the packages in this formation. But one of the things I want to focus in on for today's video is the play stick out of this gun empty cheap. Now this is a, a play that's in several playbooks, um, but the concept is about smart routing routes and also unbumpable drags to beat man-to-man -man coverage. So we're just gonna come out and cover two man. And this is a very, very simple man beater, but I did wanna talk about this because I don't, I don't think anyone's talked about this uh, specific formation to beat man-to-man -man yet. And so I just wanted to cover this um, as an option. So what we know people are doing is they are press coveraging and part of the issue that I've been running into is with cover two man, it's kind of challenging. Um, if they if they press you, um, it become, it could become kind of challenging, uh, especially if you don't have good receivers. So what I like about this specific formation, it gives you two unbumpables, and you can do whatever you want here. But what I like to do in my setup for this play is to drag both of these inside guys. Uh, you could also um, you, you you can also uh, place them on you know just simple in routes or out routes whatever. Um, but with Tyler Lockett's route, you can put him on a streak, and then Dorsett, he's on that stock fade, which we know beats uh, cover two and beats press man-to-man -man coverage, uh, especially if you motion it, which we will be motioning this route. DK Metcalf, what you can do with his route, because it's a deeper slant route, you can actually smart route this route, and you see it's going to go a little bit deeper. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to motion in Philip Dorsett, Dorsett, and at the snap of the ball, my first read is going to be this route to DK Metcalf. As you see, it beats man-to-man -to, -man to the inside. That's shaded. Uh, that's the properly shaded man-to-man uh, -man coverage. Now I do want to show you what happens uh, in a situation where they may press you. If they press you, but they're not um, shading their coverage over top, I want to show you what happens to the defense. This is the best way that they can actually stop this route is by not shading over top. But you're going to see it's going to leave them vulnerable to this route right here to door set. You'll see I just lob it over the top because he's unbumpable. It's going to be a nice little rat catch swerve and you're gonna be able to get over the top of the defense. So it really puts the defense in kind of a bind. Now let's say they run like just, so really what they're gonna to have to do is they're gonna to have to run straight up Tampa to underneath press coverage. Well, what that's gonna open up for your offense is it's gonna open up not only this route to DK Metcalf, but now you're gonna have these two check down drags uh, from this specific formation. And as you see this little mesh concept, these routes are going to uh, work against man to man because of the fact that they are unbumpable uh, routes. What unbumpable means is it means that they, they don't get pressed, okay? And so that truly does help a lot with this uh, scheme. You see both one of these drags typically will get open uh, against man to man. You can also slant. Um, let me show you this real quick here. It's just straight up Tampa 2 man. And as you see right there, you're going to typically be able to get one of those drags open. And if you're not able to get the drags open, you're typically going to be able to get that deep post route uh, wide open. But it's definitely keen on the uh, defender, defensive players here, to go ahead and um, press. Now you see here these little snap throw hitches um, that are stock on this play also work against the man-to-man -man coverage. But I just wanted to kind of put some uh, put some eyeballs on this simple formation. This five wide right here is really good. You can pick up pressure from it. You can do some different motion snaps and different things like that for door set to get him unbumpable. Uh, I absolutely love these motions, but I love these underneath drags. Again, it's only a quick three to four yard gain. But when you stockpile those up over time, especially against man to man, you're going to be able to force your opponent to have to, to watch out because this route to DK Metcalf is going to win every single time. Um, it doesn't matter what corner. We'll flip the play, and I'll show that to you uh, as to how it works against Stephon Gilmore. But what you're going to see here is this is very, very consistent. You're going to see he's going to get that inside position, and then he's going to beat man to the inside. You're going to click on and swerve catch that. That post route is a shallow, shallow enough post route that when they go to zone coverage, this uh, route is going to get over the yellows, and then it's going to kind of wrap around, almost like a deep in route. But you're going to see, I threw that a little bit, a little bit too uh, late there. But what you're going to see is that route is going to just kind of wrap around the zones. A lot of the zones in the game are not going to play that. Um, 
because of the way the yellow zones work this year, they're going to have to drop their coverage back. But if they drop their coverage back, you're going to be able to hit them um, in the drags. As you see right there, there's that wide open read. The streak of locket is really going to open up this route um, for you. So again, if they're going cover two, something like this right here, then you're going to see you're going to you're going to want to run this play because your underneath drags are going to get so um, such good separation. You see right here these little mesh drag routes. Um, and that's a quick four or five, quick four or five, quick four or five. Again, this year you're not going to, at least in my opinion, you're, you know, there are there are definitely big plays to be had, but the best offenses in the game this year are going to be the ones that take the drag, take the underneath, work the ball up the field, really sit and make a read. I think that's why a lot of people are really liking this game because it really requires you to make a good read. So anyway, just want to give you this quick route combination out of the gun and chief. See what you guys thought of this video. My channel posts four times a day, so if you're looking to get better at Madden, be sure to subscribe. And last but not least, guys, I stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. So if you want to come by and check out the stream, you can do more happy to have you guys come by. All you got to do is uh, subscribe to the channel and then join the Discord. We post in the Discord when we go live every single night. So can't wait to see you guys join the Discord. And check out some of these other videos uh, on the screen right here as I am going to transition off. See you guys in a sec.